Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Good afternoon, good evening to all of my lovely subscribers and viewers wherever you are. My name is Johnny V2. Let's get down to business. If you can't already tell by the title, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about Rick Kosick, plus some bits and pieces that I'll tell you guys about at the end, so stay tuned. For those of you who don't know who Rick Kosick is, he is one of the cameramen that work for Jackass, and he's filmed or helped filmed all of the Jackass, you know, seasons of the show and the movies and Wild Boys and really everything associated with Dick House Productions. And he has he has a website and a Twitter, and his website is you know it's really simply just rickkosick.com. Definitely worth checking out. I. I honestly went in there not knowing what to expect. I didn't really have any super high expectations. But it kept me entertained for quite a while. There's some really cool stuff, you know, videos, photos. It's a it's essentially a blog, but it's really awesome. Um Yeah, so link in the description. Check it out. But for some reason, I really I not for some reason. For the, I really like Rick Kosick kind of more than La Lance Bangs, who's another cameraman, and I, I mean, I don't really know why, there's not a good real reason, but I just feel like, oh, I just feel like he has a really good sense of humor, which I guess you have to have if you're going to be working with those guys, but I mean, he has a great sense of humor and seems, you know, just really nice and really to be more involved in everything that the starring members themselves are doing. But I mean, he is definitely not safe from the pranks of the jackass guys. And here's just one example that I found on YouTube. Check it out. It's a vicious man-eating snake. Yeah. Yeah. Kostik just asked if it was poisonous. Street. And we're gonna jump off the side, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you hate to laugh it's one of those things like you feel bad for laughing but it's really funny at the same time um but i think there's obviously a really strong like family feeling going on like despite how they treat each other sometimes there's a real family feeling about it and it's nice and it's reassuring in a way but chris pontius at the end of jackass 2.5 did this or tried to sing a song that he had made about Rick Kosick with his... it's kind of hard to describe so I'm just gonna show you the video it's about Rick Kosick it's called Ricky did the boogie woogie <laughs> we met Ricky Wicky in the spring of 69 he loved to dance the boogie woogie and he boogie woogie fine now it's 1987 he's a little bit older he's traded his Camaro for a crimson Dutch Camaro <laughs> He boogie woogie all night. Boogie all night. <laughs> Probably one of the best 26 seconds of my life. But one of the more recent things that he did, or kind of recent things that he did, I was a little more serious, was his part in the Ryan Dunn tribute. Because you know how all of the you know cast and crew members and in they did their little journal entry on dickhouse.tv and I'll have a link to what he put in the description. It was really it was really great. He reflected on some of the best memories that he had and talked about how, you know, happy a guy he was and how much he just loved life and everything. It's it's really you need to read it. You will not regret it. Like I said, Link in the description, please read it. Anyways, the thing that he's been doing right now, most recently, is he's been filming for this show on MTV that's called Death Valley. And it's kind of about, you know, just zombies and werewolves and vampires and stuff roaming the streets and 
getting dealt with by the police, right? And so Rick Kosick is helping to film it. And they, whoever they is, over at um, the Death Valley headquarters, I guess, somebody interviewed him about, about the show. And it was really, it was really interesting. And I personally love interviews because I also feel like I'm actually getting to know what they're like thinking and stuff. So I really liked it. And there were some really funny questions at the end. So I bet you can guess where it's going to be in the box, crotch box. Anyway, time for these bits and pieces I promised you. Um, so something that you probably don't care about, I had sent a friend request on Facebook to Bam, Maddie, and Johnny, and for those of you who don't know, Madison Clapp is Philip John Clapp's daughter. That's his name. His name isn't Johnny Knoxville, it's Philip John Clapp. And that's who he is in his Facebook name because they wouldn't let him put Johnny Knoxville. But Bam had accepted my request and I was really excited. Madison had accepted it and I was really excited. But like two weeks had passed and Johnny still didn't, you know, he still hadn't done anything with it or just ignored it or said no. Felt like an eternity, but finally yesterday morning, I go and check, and you know, Philip John Clapp has accepted your friend request. Just, I probably freaked out more than I should have. I got happier than I should have. But like, he's got 2,000 friends on Facebook, so that's why I was just like, what am I doing wrong? But, Philip John Clapp on Facebook, go for it. Um, yeah, entertain me way more than I should. Um, also, if you follow Bam Margera on Twitter or are friends with him on Facebook, you'll know that he was on the car show on Speed Channel recently. And I saw it, I had it recorded, and I, and I looked at it now, and I was kind of disappointed. Because I really thought he was going to be more involved in it than he was. And because all, all he really did, if you get, didn't get the chance to see it, don't worry about it. All he really did, he came on... He talked about Adam Carolla, who's the host of the show, The Car Show, who had just done, like, a soapbox derby type thing. So he just kind of, like, talked about that and, like, mentioned Jackass once. And talked about, you know, he, you should drop this, you should be in this and go down a vert ramp. And I'm just like... And then he left. And I was like, you just got, like, two minutes of airtime. Like, that was it. I really thought he was going to do more than that. And, you know, I had heard from, you know, fellow fans of Jackass that, like, oh, why would he do that? Because, like, Ryan was so into cars, and now he's doing something with cars. And now that I think of it, that was probably one of the reasons why he didn't stay for too long. So, I don't know. Feel free to speculate down below. Tell me if you saw it, what you thought. And, you know, if you like Rick Kozik or just, you know, put whatever. I'd love to listen. So this has been Johnny V2, signing out.